What's going on guys, Pixelated here, back at it again with another review. Today we're looking at a pair of sneakers from Vans that are a collaboration with legendary 90s hip hop group A Tribe Called Quest. Little known fact, the band formed before the 90s, but most if not all of their work was released in the 90s, save for their latest album that released two years ago. Just a little tidbit in case the OG hip hop fact throwers out there try to swarm me with it. We're looking at the skate high from the collection. The collection released with two skate highs and this is one of them. It is in the yellow colorway. Feel free to like or subscribe subscribe anytime during the video if you enjoy it it helps me out a lot and allows me to create more content for you guys the release date for this collection was april 6th if you're in canada and you're trying to figure out where to get these based on my previous experience with the vans x peanuts collab there are surprisingly very few places to find vans collaborations i don't know if it's the same with these or not but the vans x peanuts sneakers i could only find in the van store or off the vans canadian website and typically the Canadian Vans website misses one or two of the models from the collection which seems to be the case this time around as well. However, this collection might be a little more widely available as I did see some of the pairs available on Foot Locker's website. So to make sure, call your local Zoomies, Journeys, Hot Topic or Foot Locker or anywhere you know that carries Vans just to make sure. As for how I got my pair, I actually didn't get my pair as of yet. In order to get this review out to you guys on time, I borrowed my friend's pair. They're a tad too big on me at a size 10 and a half, but I figured it'll give you all a good chance to look at them. The skate highs retail for 110 Canadian, which means they probably retail for 90 US dollars. I haven't checked it, but it's very likely that or even lower. The Authentics retail for $80 Canadian and the Old Schools for $90 Canadian. They also released an Ultra range in the collection, which surprised me, but it's $120. Let's get into the the materials of this shoe. The skate high is made primarily of a very brushy hairy suede upper in this soft yellow colorway. We see the brushy suede on the toe box, the medial and lateral side as well as the heel and the tongue. Pretty much the entire shoe with a handful of references to their classic song Bonita Apple Bum which roughly translates to beautiful bottom the shape of an apple and by bottom they mean butt like a girl's but any anyways the point is the shoe references that song off their first album in many ways it was a very popular song you see text of the title track bonita apple bum and these two tiny pink stick figures stitched onto the outer vamp area of the shoe you see these two stick figures stitched on the heel of the shoe as well slight variation from the left heel to the right heel if you pay attention to a lot of tribes artwork and visual branding you'll find there is a common theme to them using stick figures hence why you see the theme continue onto this shoe we have the signature Vans stripe on the medial and lateral sides in all black leather. The Vans off the wall logo in black on a white tongue tab stitched onto the tongue. The shoe comes with flat black laces that have the lyrics to Bonita Applebaum written on them, which I think is a beautiful detail. The shoe also comes with an extra set of plain black laces in case the lyrics are too much for you and you want a more simple look. I obviously decided that that is not the case for me. The midsole is made of the signature Vans rubber in all black and the outsole is of the signature waffle pattern in the gum colorway. The inside is made of a tumbled leather build with the numbers 38, 24, 37 stitched onto it. If you're not aware of what these numbers refer to, Genius.com is here to answer all your questions. They're part of the lyrics of the Bonita Applebaum song referencing the measurements of a girl with a small waist and a larger than average bust and hips, aka the perfect hourglass figure. The line itself may be a reference to the song Brick House by the Commodores, which if you haven't heard that song, it's bomb too, but I digress. The insole is printed with the Vans logo and the letters ATCQ underneath, abbreviating a tribe called Quest and the signature stick figures once again. The shoe came with a tag that says two tribes unite the two tribes obviously being people who love vans and the other tribe being a tribe called quest and by extension tribe fans starting off with a variation of the famous words can we kick it taken from the beginning of their classic song can i kick it where q-tip starts off asking can i kick it with the crowd answering yes you can repeatedly as for sizing this pair right here is a size 10 and a half because they're not my pair but i typically go half a size down when i buy vans so for example i'm a true to size size 10 so i would get a size 9 and a half for them to fit perfectly and i'm a wide foot hashtag duck feet gang what's good leave it in the comments this is a very common sizing choice by the way many do go half a size down when buying fans and i would recommend you do the same all of the shoes in this collection are a tribute to iconic aspects of the hip-hop collective for example the skate highs are inspired by the classic song bonita applebaum referencing to you know what as i've mentioned earlier the old schools are inspired by the artwork on their album the low end theory and their greatest hits album the anthology both have similarly 
themed and colored visuals. The Authentics honor and are inspired by the iconic late and great Fife Dog, a performer from the group with presumably lyrics of his verses or his ad-libs on the shoe. The slip-ons have their latest album. We got it from here. Thank you for your service. Album art on it. And the Vans Eras Grace, all their album covers on one shoe. So if you're a long time A Tribe Called Quest fan, make your pick on which resonates with you the most from this selection. Overall, I think this is a great collaboration. It's probably very well timed. There are a lot of ATCQ fans and this will hit that nostalgia button for them without breaking the bank. A Tribe Called Quest were really known for breaking that macho chauvinistic bad boy drug dealing sentiment that pretty much every rapper or hip hop artist in their time would portray. Not only that, but they were able to excel and thrive in a genre by making music that was completely opposite of their peers. It was melodic, energetic, and had a groove to it, and seemed friendly rather than combative. I have enjoyed their music growing up. I was a very casual listener, but their music always left me feeling better, and I love their latest project, albeit it being released almost two decades after their previous work. You're not going to get much comfort out of these shoes. These are classic vans, so no new cushioning tech or anything like that, but they do look great. I love that soft yellow suede look on these shoes. It's not as strong as the yellow on the peanut X van skate high which makes it more wearable for most people. I'd recommend wearing these with black pants or lighter pastel summer colors as an opposing contrast. But other than that, if you've been a long time Tribe fan, I don't see why you wouldn't want a pair from this collection in your collection. If you took anything from this video, please make sure to hit that like and or subscribe button. What do you guys think about this collaboration? Do you think it does the hip hop group justice or was Vans being lazy? Let me know in the comments below. Catch you later. Pixelated is about to kick it.